How's it going YouTube? Coming to you today with another video. And today, guys, with the brand new is going to be a really fun video talking about next format, what we can be expecting, what the deck lists look like, what the different variants look like, some really cool tech options to really get you prepared for what's going to be happening toward Anaheim. So I do hope that you're all ready for that. I am back today. I am holding my stomach and lean back a little far. Uh, if you did not already hear, my appendix went bad during a live stream. And it was in a lot of pain, just out of nowhere hurt really bad, went to the hospital, they took out my appendix, and I've been resting ever since. So this is my first video back. Again, it was quite the time. I appreciate all the support. I am just looking forward to making content at this point. That was awful, but could have been worse, could have been a lot worse, and I appreciate you all. If you haven't checked my sponsors over on Imperium Duels to Dragon Shield, Gem, Cloud, RW, or Grimoire, Definitely go ahead and check them all out down below in the description. And without further ado, let's hop right on into the video. So the first thing I want to bring up is going to be there's three new decks coming out in Crossover Breakers. We have Ryziel, we have Malice, and we have the Ryugi archetype, which is like deemed the Pokemon archetype. It's just really not that good. They have a couple neat cards. Maybe someone will do something with it, but it's not really showing any results at all in the OCG. Ryziel is more than half of the meta right now in the OCG, and Malice is only like 11%. Uh, between all the different Moltarmies and Lancia, Malice is having a really hard time performing. It's still kind of performing, but Ryzeal just has so many different ways to be more optimized. It's just the best of the three. Uh, so if you are looking for a deck moving forward or a really good deck to play, it's probably going to be Ryzeal. There's a lot of different ways that you can play it, but there is a lot of very standard ratios that we'll cover. Here are different tech cards that I really do believe in for next format. Axie's Encore is really strong against Ryziel. Of course, you can just clear whatever you need to clear really fast, especially if you're worried about like a Dweller or something from the deck. You can go ahead and just get rid of it immediately. Uh, you also have Ultimate Slayer, which is really strong. I think this card is going to be really neat going into next format. Right now, it's really heavily overly played in the OCG. Do I think that we really will need to be able to play this? I don't think so. There's probably still 100 other options you can play instead of this. But it's going to be a little bit better this format, and I think that's pretty cool. Another card that you can use to deal with Ryziel that we used to deal with Sprite was And the Band Played On. Neither player can special summon monsters with the same level as those they control, and then neither player can special summon monsters with the same rank as they control. So this essentially is just saying that they cannot keep throwing up fours and rank fours. They have to do other things. So it's kind of like Stiggy and Dirge or like Mischief of the Gnomes where your opponent's just going to be shut down from their levels, which is another couple cards that you should consider playing uh, that will end up being pretty strong here as well. Uh, that's why I always think the Ryziel player should be on one rank three just in case it happens. And it might just be the Virtue Dragon so they get the Icarus attack. Uh, so that's just another good way that you can counter things like this happening because those cards are going to be very popular into the next format. Now, we don't have 7th Tachyon. We do have 7th Ascension, but the deck is not going to be the same without Tachyon because essentially that's all Ascension's there for is to get to Tachyon. So this is something that is going to be out in the maze set in, I believe, January. So it's not going to be full power on release, but once we get some Tachyon, it will be. Ryzeal will still be pretty solid moving forward, but it's not going to be everything that we're expecting at the moment. Now, this is the standard ratio for Ryzeal as far as the top row here goes. You play 3-3-3, three, 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 and then you play one in the Icicle. Um, the monsters themselves can actually clear other cards that you control. At least two of them can. So it does play a little bit better around things like Contact C. But if your opponent does summon two of them, and then you throw the Contact C, it might be a little harder. Um, it's not going to be the best answer for IZL, but I mean, it could be a okay answer at the very least. Um, we only see one field spell here. I think this is going to end up being two, because I think one's just inherently incorrect, because you don't really have a great way to recycle it, and I don't really think that you want to be without. I think that playing this at two end up being the standard, but we'll have to see. Uh, three and three of the sevenths, uh, this will just be standard once we get them. Uh, a lot of people are playing three bonfire right now. They just have it at one in the OCG, so that's where that's at at the moment. This is the new X seed right here that allows you to basically just summon out an X seed for free as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this card's really broken. There's a lot of really good ways to get to it as well. Um, so expect that to be an issue moving forward. Um, but that's like the standard ratio. This is Malice. Uh, this is actually really cool. This is like four mud skipper. But it allows you to banish a Cybers, I believe from your Hand or Grave, 
So if you have like malice cards in your grave, you can summon this like for free to an arrow a Cyrus monster is pointing from. And you can banish out one of your malices, bring it back to the board and keep comboing that way. It's really important that you have Bishols in this deck though, because you can go link one to link decoder and then banish one of your malice monsters and have like a Bishol on board and keep comboing that way because then you bring back the malice and then you have three monsters, uh, which is solid. Uh, so the Bishols I think are a really big important part of this and this is realistically just a heat soul deck So you should treat it like that and just play a lot of hand traps with this if you're gonna play malice um, It does have kill lines and it does have ways that you can play other than just like very straightforward But I think that playing very straightforward as a heat soul deck is going to be the best way to play this for sure The other new occurrences that we're seeing are gonna be things like voiceless Ryziel which Voices is already really solid because it plays under both the Moltrimies very well, which is very cool. It just can't play Impulse, which sucks. But there is a very small Ryzeo package that is going in most of the lists that we're seeing right now. So if you're looking for a very solid deck that you want to play next format, I would definitely recommend picking up something like Voiceless Voice because it has a lot of promise moving forward. Also, it's going to be really dangerous using cards like Maximus because of the fact that everyone's going to have Miria Logic in their extra deck for the most part if you're playing like the newer decks. And then uh, some people are on like Malong and the other cards that you can just use immediately like Farajit. Um, but some people are playing like a full Ryzeal package and then almost a full Voiceless package together as well, uh, which is pretty crazy. So... These are the kind of decks that we're seeing moving forward. We still have our meta, but by the time that we get these, like two weeks later, we'll have a ban list, probably. Uh, we already are due for a ban list at the end of this month, and this doesn't come out till next month. So we are going to get a ban list somewhere in here, which is really important, because at that point, our meta is going to look very different. Hopefully, like, Flame Bridge gets banned. Uh, and then we're looking at more of these decks that trade really well one for one into each other. I think that Striker against Ryzeal and Malice is going to have a very good time. And one thing that you might not have noticed is like a lot of the OCG lists right now just aren't playing Shifter and Malice, which is crazy. Uh, so that's something else to think about that is just like kind of not being there. Maybe it's on the side, but it's just not there. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what the TCG does with these kind of decks because I feel like we always take everything and just break it the most we can, right? Because it's just what we do. Um, but I want to give you an early look into what the format will look like and so you have a better idea moving into testing for the new format because I always recommend you don't test until the format's really close because you don't want your head to be clouded with future format things that we don't know what the format's going to look like yet because there's no point in doing that. But if you enjoyed the video, follow my Twitch, Twitter, join my Discord, follow my Instagram, and subscribe to the channel. I hope that all of you have a wonderful night and I'll catch you all on the next one. Thank you all so much.